having spoken to you a few weeks ago, that you were talking about during the amateur days, the kind of disjointedness in the amateur days, a lot of people didn't get a chance to see you. So what's going to change this time? Have you a lot of people coming to see you this time on your debut? Oh yeah, quite, quite a few people from, from the area that I live in right now coming to support. And just very excited for that. I'm very excited for them to, for me to support performance in front of them as well because they've always wanted to see me fight. So, yeah. So, apart from excitement, what other emotions are going through your mind now as you step up towards tomorrow night? Not much to be honest. Not much to Any nerves? Excited. Not really. Just, mm -hmm. just excited. I'm like, waiting for it. Can't wait. Oh, well, this, we're incredibly excited to have you. Thank you very much, Daniel, and we'll, we'll all see you in action tomorrow night. Sure, sure. Um, <coughs> uh, just, next person we're going to move on to now, we'll just have a quick chat with uh, Yusuf Kamari, who is a stable mate of K down at IQ Boxing in Easton. Yusuf, um, great to have you here, mate. We're all going to be excited to have you on the show as well, honestly. I know about you, very excited to <coughs> how good, because such a great technical boxer you are. But tell us a little bit more about your background. Yeah, so I'm, I'm originally from London, I'm, I live in Wembley. Um, it's my first time boxing in Luton, so I'm excited to bring and show the town what I can do. And I'm just looking forward to putting on a show tomorrow evening and, and yeah, showing everyone what I can do, really. And this is actually, apart from being your first show in Luton, it's actually your first time fighting out of London as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's my first time boxing out of London. I mean, most of my shows have been at the York Hall. Um, I've done one at Wembley Arena and at the old 2 so excited for the new venue. and. Yeah, I just want to bring, bring, bring what I can do to Luton. So, you've, your, your last fight, you were fighting for a title. This is your kind of a stepping stone towards you move back in that direction. How important is this fight to you tomorrow night? I mean, it's important because, you know, boxing November, the end of November last year, and to get back into the target contention, I didn't want to stay, you know, on the sidelines for too long. I wanted to keep busy, you know, not get too much ring rust on me, so. It's good for me to stay busy, get another win under my belt, and then on to bigger and better things after. And this is going to be a great experience for our local fans to get to see you in action because you're a stable man of kids. So, what can what the fans expect to see from you then when you're. Oh, sorry, I'm, you know, I'm coming up to, to do damage tomorrow. I just want to come out and get the stoppage if I can. And yes, put on a show tomorrow night, that's what I'm going to do. Brilliant. Thank you so much, you said. And we're, you know, as I said, we're excited. I know a lot about you, but it's going to be great for our local fans just to get buy into exactly what you've got to bring us. And then um, anybody who walks along saying, okay, you know, it's got to be a past the box, let's be honest. Um, so moving a little bit forward now, let's have a quick chat with um, Kay's coach before we bring in the two boxers who are going to be headlining. Um, I'd just like to welcome Shavi Miller and Karen for us. Shav, Tell us a little bit about your thoughts on tomorrow night. Both fighters have just played in. A fight, we've got a fight happening, we're all incredibly, we're thrilled to have this fight. Tell us how your emotions are at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to another, another good fight. Um, you know, Kane's been to this level before, so is Bilal. They're both very good boxers, two different styles. And, um, you know, I want Kane Kay, in his hometown, you know, just do what he needs to do, bring the belt home, and move on to the next level. Um, you know, Kane's been around for a long, long time. You know, he can, he's very versatile, can switch, he's explosive. And um, I'm looking for a very, very good performance here. But, you know, I've got a lot of respect and time for Bilal. I've seen Bilal box, a good technical boxer. Um, I've been around a long time, so I know what I'm looking at. And it's going to be a good fight. So when you say you know what you're looking at, what kind of things do you have to do without giving too much weight in preparation for this fight? What kind of things? Well, Listen, it's, it's all about the, the individuals. Yeah. You know, you do the right things on the day, you'll be successful. You know, they're both, they're both good fighters. Um, you know, Kane's got, Kane's got this title. We plan to hold this title and go to the next level. We're not really thinking about anything else going forward. We've got a job to do tomorrow and that's all we're going to do. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for that, Chav. Um, so, moving on to the main event. We've got Bilal Rimmer versus Kay, uh, Kay Prosper. Um, a huge fight. A massive homecoming for Kay, and um, we're really looking forward to it. I, mean, I don't know about the rest, I'm getting nervous now, I'm not even in the ring, you know, <laughs> Kay's like that. Even if, if when Kay was even fighting four rounders, I was getting nervous, so this is very, really, um, this is a, a massive opportunity for everybody in the local area to experience a huge show, and for a title to be on the line is absolutely massive. So, part of that show, and a big part of that, will of course be Kay Prosper, 
but we can't have a fight without a very, very strong and important opponent, and that's Bilal Raymond. So I'd like to welcome Bilal. Thank you very much for coming down today. Oh, thank you very much, Bob. And Bilal, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background in boxing. So what can I say? Um, for, um, you know, I've got a fairly win, one loss. I come short with a very top British, British level challenger, you know, fighter, so I'm so I'm ready. And your, <coughs> sorry, your record is quite similar to kids because you know, give or take a draw, you have to, you know, you're equally the same. Yeah. Um, was it a bit, was it a big decision for you to come, and what made you choose to take this fight in particular? Listen, from the start, I've been fighting away, so this day was a big decision. Kay just another fight. He's good, but you know, we got to look at his, you know, his age. I'm not taking him away from him, but he is a lot older than me, so I think this is the perfect, perfect time for me to take him on. Right. There's nothing to do with going to fight home or away. I'm used to fighting. But this is like home for me anyway, so there ain't no problem for that. And in terms of tomorrow night, do you have many people coming down to, you know, coming down? Of course, there are a lot of people coming down, but at the end of the day, you're always the person who's in opposite. You doesn't really matter who's outside and make out fight for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to that's all. I completely understand. And, uh, Kay, over to you. Just yeah. give us a wee tap and talk through us. Just, just to send to Bilal, your records are quite similar. Yeah. However, what's going to be the difference between both of you tomorrow night? Um, time will tell. Time will tell. Time will tell, you know. You're going to need to do better than that. Yeah. Bilal's a good boxer. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of footage out there, so we've been able to study the tapes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's going to bring a lot to the table. And we're fully prepared for it. You know, um, this is about my age, you know, if he's using that as a, as a factor, he's going to come up short. Um, he's boxed at a decent level, you know what I mean? We know the key man is brown, we're hoping to fight these kind of caliber fighters ourselves. And he's done very well against him, so I gave him total respect to my camp, yeah. trained my arse off, <clears throat> I put it on the line, he's come to my hometown, and he's leaving empty handed. And, <laughs> and talk us through a little bit then about your, your background, because as you said, Bilal's fought against the key minus Brown, yeah. and but whoever you fought with Sam Mazin, and you've got yeah. the title now. Do you think that's the difference in, in the pools you fought, or does that make, does that make any difference? I to think you? no. I think we both mixed in the same kind of caliber of uh, yeah. opponents. Obviously, he's come up short, and I did. I won the belt. I'm the champion. Um, I know that Bilal's going to bring some out of me, but he's there as ready to play. He's there, ready and waiting to come out. Um, all right. correct. Um, Challenge all these. great, confident, and um, all I can say is my fans ain't like other people's fans. Yeah, my my Luton gets behind people. I'm gonna have everyone in that, every single person in that venue is gonna be there supporting me. We've got a, a point from the, the few that he's gonna bring down, and it's gonna be an amazing atmosphere. And it's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be a great performance. Do either of you fighters have a prediction for tomorrow night, or are we just gonna see what happens on the day? Roll with license, just roll with it. Roll with it, yeah. Okay. I just predict a win for me, that's all I can really say. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> well listen, thank you so much for you know both for uh, giving us your uh, your thoughts on the fight. Um, so yeah, anybody who's got a train as well. Oh, oh I beg your pardon, I'm sorry, uh, sorry uh, that wasn't a part of the sorry next time. Um, so you're gonna ask coach, tell us a little bit about yourself, but tell us a little bit about your Thoughts on what may happen tomorrow night. <coughs> How you First of all, I'd like to thank Kay and his team for giving us this opportunity sure. to challenge for the English title. But in my opinion, I believe Bill Out is a step above Kay. <coughs> and Saturday night, we're going to prove that. <coughs> um, Bill Out came up two, year, two years ago now. We've had, we've had three, de three decent fights, challenge for the European. We fell short of, yeah. which is a decent, high caliber opponent in that key maze brown. <coughs> so, I can say Saturday night it's going to be our time. We'll take that title home. And Bilal has made no secret of the fact that fighting away is not a problem for him. Is that exactly how you feel? Yeah, home or away, Bilal shows up when he comes to fight every time. I haven't spoken to Xavier Miller about his preparations for the fight. Is there anything in particular you want to do in preparing for Kay? Anything different from other opponents? How do you do research? Um, Kay looks like a pretty solid opponent, aggressive, so we're ready for that. <coughs> we're ready for that. But in my opinion, Kay was very lucky to win that English title in the majority, in the majority draw decision. To be the champion, you have to rip the title away him, from him. Yeah, the first one was a draw, and then I came back and we were actually beating Just remember, you lost most of the rounds against the king. Yeah, you lost all your rounds. You lost most of the rounds. 
You went to that level, but you lost most of the role. We'll see. No way. We'll see. I've seen your fight. Yeah, majority draw. Well, I've seen your fight. To be a majority draw. I've seen your fight. I've beaten him every card. I've beaten him every card. The first one was draw, the second one I've beaten him every card. Well, that's the first one. Okay. So he was lucky to be even be sat here now to jump you. What, man, I ripped it from him? You're lucky to be here. Yeah, I beat him up. Okay. I mean, my overriding okay. memory of the first fight was that you had a lot of low punches and Sam Amir's own. He got a draw. He got a draw. That's what they made the rematch. Yeah. And the second fight was, very, was an incredibly comprehensive win, actually, yeah. after the yeah. fight being hurt for the third round. So, look, all this proves to us is that this is just going to be an incredibly exciting night for all of us. Um, anybody here out there who's, come, who's thinking about coming to watch, making up their mind whether to come and watch, don't waste your time. You know, fear of missing out is real. You need to be here tomorrow night. This is going to be a huge fight. There's absolutely no lack, lack of confidence from Bilal Raymond and his team for being away and coming down here and taking this fight. That's exactly what we expected. And on the other side of the coin, the home fighter, Kay Prosper, is incredibly confident that he can actually take the win for the back there, or keep his belt there in Luton. So if you're thinking about coming, don't think twice. Get your tickets, come down, watch this fight. Absolutely enjoy it like the rest of us. So thanks everybody for coming here today. I'm really you know, grateful for so many people who came. Um, thank you very much to our sponsor, who's Pipe Snug, and also to our charity, uh, which is Chum's Charity, um, who are fantastic partners. So get your tickets, get down to Dunstable Conference Centre tomorrow night, and come and enjoy what was going to be an explosive night of boxing. Thank you. How's time, baby? Okay. Let's go.